Hey guys, it's uh, me, Sean, from uh, C3 Cyber Club. This is our fifth video tutorial going over uh, skyboxes and uh, particles. Uh, this is uh, using Platinum Art Sandbox for our game design class. So if you haven't checked out our other videos for modeling, texturing, entities, all those other sort of uh, properties in the game, go ahead and definitely check those out first before getting into this one. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. So skyboxes. Uh, skybox is pretty much what you see right now in the background. So we have this moon here, we have some stars, some clouds. Uh, it's pretty much a giant sphere that encompasses your entire game. Uh, even if we were to kind of keep going towards it, we would never be able to reach it. Reach it. It's just always in the background. So a Skybox is going to definitely uh, enhance the theme and the mood and feel of your game. So depending on the type of theme that you're putting into your game, uh, Skybox is really going to add to that and add some lot more depth to it. So uh, let's get started. So what you guys see here right now is uh, we have a moon and uh, we have our stars. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just press E to go into edit mode. And we're going to go ahead and press F4 to bring up our skybox menu. Now the function keys uh, for F1, F2, F3, F4, uh, these are the primary function keys that you'll be using in the game design software. So uh, F4 is just going to bring you all the different properties and all the different functions for just related to skyboxes. So what you see here is a couple of layers, a couple of menus. Uh, we're going to go into the skybox menu. Now this is where you change your primary background. And as we cycle through this, there's a lot of different options that we can choose from. From desert, dunes, green, hills, penguins, to wrath, even sort of an end of the world apocalypse sort of theme to it. Uh, we also have uh, mustard galaxy, fiery galaxy, uh, aqua, all these different particular uh, skyboxes. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just pick on maybe hill for right now. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and select the hill, and I like this one. So once you go over to and select it, uh, puts it into the background. So if I press F4, you notice that now it's in the background. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and press F4 again. We're gonna do a couple other things. You also notice that uh, there's a spin to it, and we'll get into that later on. Um, let's also go to our cloud boxes. All right, now for our cloud boxes, we have a couple options here. We have a moon, we have uh, some other sort of cloud boxes that are really great for sort of a galaxy uh, sort of feel if you want sort of a cluster of you know stars in the background. But I just want to go ahead and just click on the moon. So I'm going to go to the moon and select it. And now that I have it selected, it should be loaded into the game. Here we go. And uh, my moon even also has another spin to it. So, and uh, if you also notice that it's actually in front of the mountains, uh, that's because uh, this is an element that's being added to the skybox. So you have to remember the skybox is always sort of the last element in the background. So whatever else you put in there, it's always going to be in front of it. So if you have mountains like this, the moon's not going to work. But if we were to do a, a star background, it would be perfectly fine. So uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to go into the other layer here. We have cloud layers, and this is where you actually have your clouds. And there's a couple to choose from. I want to do something that's a little bit, maybe not too many clouds, just a little bit, like this one. Um, let me do a little bit more. Do that. Okay, that's pretty good. And so you can see them very faintly. They're in the background there, but once we play around the settings, they'll definitely pop up. So we're going to go ahead and press F4 one more time, and let's go to our settings. Now, the way this is broken down, we have our sky boxes, which is our background, the mountains right here. We have our cloud boxes, which is actually the moon, this element. And we have the cloud layers, the actual clouds that are in the game. So we're going to go ahead and change these different uh, variables. And I'm going to go over just uh, very briefly what each of these uh, does for your, your level and uh, the, these elements. So one is the spin. So right now, I actually have my background spinning. If I was to bump up this number, say 70, spinning really fast. A little too fast. I might get a little bit of motion sickness if I was keeping it at this, this speed. So let's just drop it down to two for right now. Okay. Uh, yaw is basically where our skybox starts off at. So for example, if we go ahead and just set this back to zero, so there's no spin, and I change it to say zero, you notice that the background has changed. It doesn't really matter when you actually have your level spinning, but uh, it is there, and it does work for the other sort of layers. All right. Now we have our color. Right now, 255 uh, is going to be white, it, and it actually shows you by the uh, the coloring of the text and also this box here. And remember, this stands for red, green, blue. So this is the red value, the green value, the blue value. So if we want to make it sort of at nighttime, what we would do is we're going to go ahead and just change this to zero because if this is white, the lowest number from that should give us the exact opposite color. So here we go, black. Now, it doesn't work out too well just because we can't really even see the background anymore. So, you only want to use this if it works. 
Obviously, for this situation, it doesn't. So, we're going to go ahead and just maybe give a little bit of a red color. That's pretty good. We can make it sort of like Mars here. Let me bump up the the greens a little bit. And let's maybe bump this up to maybe uh, 50 here. So, I think I have a, more of a kind of a purplish haze to it. And let me just drop down my skybox a little bit there. There we go. Now, we also have something called Fog Dome. Uh, this is where if you want to actually put fog into your game. So let's take a look at what we have, and it should be green right now. So let's go to the edge of our map, and yep, we got some green down there. There's our fog. So let's uh, change this. So this is our max. How bright? Uh, how much fog do we want? And that's the the biggest value you can do. One. You have to do anything in between. This is our minimum. So right now it's set to negative one. It's going to start at the very bottom of our map. So if we want to start at the very top, we would just do one for here. Now if we look up. There we go, it should be up. Now the reason why we have this ring here is because we have uh, our clip. Our clip value is a little bit different. If we were to change this to zero, now it's gone, but let's go ahead and just change it to one. So it shows up. There we go. So now this is okay, but obviously it's missing something. We need to get it onto the entire level here. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's drag this down to negative one. Now what we're telling the uh, the fog dome, fog dome to do is start at the top and go down to the very, very bottom. So now the whole level has this sort of greenish, foggy color, almost like a radioactive color. Okay. And uh, the cap is just pretty much, uh, you can turn that on, turn it off, you can only set it to one. But uh, we're going to go ahead and set it to one right now just so we can see it. And now we also have our cloud boxes. So our cloud boxes, again, remember, are the it's going to be the moon right here so we can change the speed of the moon and four uh, we also change the color of the moon so maybe I want to make it red I can do that so I'm going to go ahead and just drop these down to zero so now my moon is red and uh, again y'all remember it changes the direction of where it starts off at okay and alpha is if we want to make it see through so right now one is the default if you want to make it completely solid. If you make it just a little bit, uh, let's go to point three here. Now you notice it's kind of see-through. You can't really tell that much just because we have uh, this green fog in the way. Let's go ahead and just change this down to zero. And there we go. And my background's kind of messing me up, so let's just change this back to normal here. Two fifty-five. There we go. So it's it's a little uh there's a little bit of opacity to it. Um if we were to bake it down a little bit less. There you go, it's even more. But uh that's just basically how you change the opacity of your moon or any sort of element you have in your cloud layers selection. Or I'm sorry, your cloud boxes selection. And now we have our cloud layers. So this is where our clouds are located. So we can uh change the scale of our clouds. So we make them bigger or smaller. Right now, make them a little bit smaller. And notice it added more clouds. Uh, let's change the spin here. So now they're actually spinning. And I'll just change this to zero so you guys have a better idea. Here you go. And uh, we can also spin it or we can scroll it on the axis, the x axis or the y axis. So there you go. Or if we want to change it the opposite way, we can do it this way. Okay, and again we can also change the colors if we want to, which is the uh, uh, we can also change the height if we want it to be a lot closer to the ground. We can do that. It's about as low as you can go. Uh, we can even go to a negative number. So if we look over to the edge of our map here, now it's underneath us. Okay, so that's just pretty much um, the settings for our uh, sky boxes, uh, cloud boxes, and cloud layers. So this is going to definitely enhance the mood and feel of your game just by utilizing uh, these properties and changing the settings. All right. So if you have any other questions, check out our website at c3cyberclub.com. You can also check out Platinum Arts uh, Game Maker. Uh, that's where you can get a lot more in-depth tutorials for the uh, the game design engine. And uh, hopefully see you guys again. All right. Take it easy. Bye bye.